What is up guys, Smooth here, back with another Minecraft video, and today we're going to be looking at the Herobrine mod. Now you might notice I have a Herobrine skin on, this actually has nothing to do with the mod, it's something I just downloaded randomly, and I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys to check it out if you like, but now let's get to the nitty gritty of what this mod has to offer. So basically, in order to spawn Herobrine into your world, you're going to have to create this totem over here, which I'll explain a little more thoroughly in a moment, but you're going to have to craft this one block, which is the most important part. You need one piece of soul sand, and you're going to need eight bones and a crafting bench, and you'll then spawn a Herobrine totem, which basically just looks like a piece of netherrack with four different Herobrine skulls surrounding it. And it's important to note that you don't want to have two Herobrine totems in your world. If you do that, it can corrupt your world, it can cause bugs, so you're going to have to try to avoid that. So let's break these here quickly, because we don't want to have to deal with any of that. And before we finally spawn in Herobrine, I'm going to show you quickly the Herobrine music. I won't actually play them, because I'm not sure if copyright would be an issue, but I'd rather not take the risk. You have a song called Have You Seen the Herobrine by GothTigger92, and you also have It's Herobrine by Blah Blah Gaming. They're both uh, pretty popular songs in terms of uh, how many views they got. I think they're both well over a million views each, if I'm not mistaken. So if you guys would like, you can check them out after you watch this video, or even pause this video and check them out right now. But now let's actually spawn in the Herobrine. So let's look in over here. So you have the Herobrine totem, which I already have, but let's grab this flint and steel. So the way this actually is done is, let me just pillar up here for a second, because I'm gonna have to light this. You're gonna place the Herobrine totem right over here, and then you're, go you're going to have to light this right on top. Now I want you to pay attention to my chat box because as soon as I light this up, you're gonna see his eye color is gonna change and you're gonna see some text in the bottom left. So we got some lightning going on and let's wait for it to come through. All right, so it should be coming in any moment. What's basically gonna happen now is you're gonna have Herobrine spawn in roughly, I wanna say from my experience, every minute or so and you're gonna have something random, something completely random happen to you. So I'm gonna just wait around and you'll hear like a sound cue, which is gonna basically warn you that he's about to attack. And let me actually put some armor on. So like I have some really powerful armor over here and some really powerful weapons as well. You see all these have protection four, my sword has sharpness five, my bow has power five, and my diamond pickaxe has efficiency five. And you'll see that that doesn't really matter so much because once he gets you, he can actually disarm you. And you'll see how that works in a second. So I'm going to start running around. And we're going to wait to hear that little sound cue. And then you'll see Hero Brian come in and attack us. So let's start wandering off in this direction. See if anything comes up. Also, it does spawn some Hero Brian structures, which you'll see in a moment. Okay, that's one. Oh, there he goes. So I think that was just basically like the first little warning that he's going to be in the area. And then we should have, I think there's roughly... 10 to a dozen different kinds of oh oh there's a whole ton of them and now we have the hero brine chickens the evil chickens they don't have a lot of health but they can do a decent amount of damage if you don't have the kind of armor that i have now they're probably one of the least the, one of the least threatening if not the least threatening so let's go a little bit further and oh we got some more the hero brine stalker just came in and you'll see he just dropped lava and spawned some fire so Again, if you have some really good armor, you could potentially lose it very quickly, and this will cause my world to burn just a little bit. So let's go further, see what else happens to us. And I'm pretty happy that I'm in a plains biome over here. Oh, there's another one. And you'll see in the bottom, oh, some more Herobrine chickens and just a regular zombie. Oh, oh, let's get rid of all these guys. There we go. Let's get some crits in there. Very nice. All right, let me eat a quick golden apple. And let me show you guys what they said in the text box quickly. So it said, you will never be free. Hi, Game Shop. I guess that's the YouTuber that they're friends with. In the next line, it says, a backwards roundhouse kick. Chuck Norris reference. After that, it says, Notch is married. That's so random. <laughs> and then the other two said hi. So let's keep on walking around. See what else we have going on. All right, let's go up in this direction. Oh, what was that? Did Herobrine just kill himself? I, <laughs> I think he just killed himself. He actually spawned inside. Oh, whoa, whoa. Dizziness effect. And I got... It looks like I got elevated there for a second as well. Let's see what it said in the bottom left. It said... Listen to Led Zeppelin. 
Okay, that's interesting. And roundhouse kick once again. So the Chuck Norris, uh, the Chuck Norris hero Brian is what attacked me. Whoop! That was, that was awesome. I just one hit him like in an instant. But that was another hero Brian stalker. We got that one before. Let's keep on roaming along. I'm gonna try to find some of these hero Brian structures. There's these little like, uh, they kind of look like, oh, more hero Brian stalkers. Okay, now we have the hero Brian pig, the pig Brian, and. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm pretty sure that he actually spawned TNT and the pig hero brines don't actually explode themselves. I could be mistaken, but I'd have to double check that. Oh, this is the sound again. Oh, yeah, see, that now you see I just got disarmed. So even though I have really good equipment, it doesn't really matter because I can still potentially get killed at any second. Oh, man. Let's get my sword quickly. Oh, I'm getting hit by Wither. Okay, where is this guy? Oh man. Alright, let's let's run in that direction. I'm getting my I'm getting my butt spanked. Alright. Crits, crits. And now he's back up. Let me see if I can get the rest of my armor. I just need my boots. Oh man, this guy's really OP. Alright, so let me uh oh man, I'm gonna be just buried in here. I need to get my bow on quickly. Did my world just get corrupted? What is going on? Ladies and gentlemen, I think we have a crash. I'll be back in one moment. So I just did a little bit of experimenting and I think I figured out what caused the crash. So you basically have a whole bunch of different uh, Herobrine spawn eggs and all of them do something a little bit different. Like you saw earlier, I had a whole bunch of different attacks that were hitting me. And it's basically caused by these spawn eggs, but if you spawn them manually, they kind of have a different effect than they would if it was just randomly generated by this totem. So for the same reason that I wasn't able to find any randomly generated structures that Herobrine would create, it's because of this one right here. It's the Spawn Herobrine Builder. Whenever this thing spawns, your game will crash. So it's kind of unpredictable, and I guess this version of the mod is not fully polished. So... I'm going to show you guys the other ones that we didn't get to see yet. So let's look at the Cowbrine. So the Cowbrine... Whoa, I think he just killed himself. But basically, the Cowbrine, when it dies, it will spawn two pillars of lava, just like you see over here. And it could spread if I think you had grass blocks next to it, if I'm not mistaken. But for some reason, when you spawn them like this, again, it reacts differently. Like, it'll just instantly turn into lava. Might work differently if I go into survival, but I've been having, I've been like, there's too many of these slime guys over here. Don't want to risk that. The other one that you guys didn't get to see yet is the infected Herobrine villager. So let's spawn this guy quickly, and you'll see he just looks like another villager with the Herobrine eyes. Let's slaughter him very quickly. There we go. And the coolest one, which you guys didn't get to see yet, is this one over here. This is a Herobrine that will actually spawn in Notch, as you can see. So first you'll spawn him. And then eventually Notch will start to appear. If it if this is the right egg, let's let's spawn him again. Maybe I'm not seeing Notch anywhere. I'm just seeing a bunch of Hero Brands. So for whatever reason, I wasn't able to spawn in Notch again using this method. But you do have a regular Notch spawn egg, which I'll place right over here. And what he basically does is he will start attacking all the other Hero Brands. I think that's if I go into survival mode. So let's. Spawn a bunch of them and see how that works out. Let me go into... Oh, wow. Like you said, they got <laughs> they got on completely cornered. Let's go into survival mode. Game mode zero. Whoa. And now he's chasing me. Let's get him back. Let me stand behind the Notch army. And they won't let him get near me. Every once in a while, I did see them attack occasionally, but... For some reason, they're not attacking that particular guy oh there he goes hero brian hi brother notch i don't want you in my game and i think that oh there it goes there was a random one that spawned right over there a little bit strange so this this mod uh it's a lot of fun but it's still pretty buggy and wow that's a lot of fire so that's gonna wrap it up for the hero brian mod i hope you guys all enjoyed it please leave a like if you did as it does help me out a lot and subscribe if you want to see videos similar to this one in the future this was smooth and i'll see you all later take it easy guys Thank <laughs> you.